everybody yes you got it right over here we are going to understand how to split the column but the problem is why do we need to split the column if you're someone who already understand this pain this problem statement it's absolutely fine and for you we are going to start in a couple of seconds but for those who don't know what this problem statement is why exactly do we even need to do this then hang on i'm just going to explain this and show you the problem statement what exactly the problem statement is for that i need to take you to the table view first and over here like you can see the table how it is looking nothing is clear over here you can see it says invoice id city name and bill but you see how the data looks like if you wish to create some sort of visualization on this or do some sort of analysis absolutely i'm with you you are not able to do you would not be able to do this thing absolutely not right so how to fix this so for that again we need to go in power query from here we can just click transform data and we are going to get in transform data environment which is nothing but the power query okay now choose your table from here select the column which by default is selected then in the home tab itself in transform group you are seeing this split column and when you click the drop down you're gonna get so many options i highly encourage you that you understand it first how it works and then you go ahead and try each of these options that's really going to be interesting and useful for you so i'm going to use this by delimiter and as soon as i click that it's gonna give me a box what delimiter that you want to use here you have other options also if you want to split by comma etc then you can choose that now just focus on the data ones so between invoice id and between city what you see is a straight line that is called pipe and on your keyboard just below the backspace button you can see that okay so uh below the backspace button whatever the value whatever the value you see there there, there must be two things one is backward slash and just above that the pipe option so you pipe symbol okay so you need to press and hold shift key from your keyboard and just press that backward slash and as soon as you do this is what you are going to get and after that you don't need to do anything else just say okay and as soon as you do this you see the magic what exactly happened right you you got the thing splitted all right now the next thing which i want to do is you see this name it is also showing as the row value but i want to make it as the header how do i make that so for that in transform group again you see use first row as the header I just click that and this is it. Now the next thing which I want to fix is here it has both of the name together. I mean somewhere you can see say the three names so but I'm going to keep to two name only first name and last name. So I'm going to split it for example over here you see it has three things right. So this will be data error but these are just outliers so I'm going to leave with that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it right again. So here I'm going to split again by delimiter and you would see by default how intelligent power bi is it has by default detected the default delimiter which is nothing but space right if you want to change this you can change this but i'm going to give keep the same now after that i just need to say okay and as soon as i do this you see three column has been created name one name two name three so this one i'm going to say first name first name then this one i'm going to say last name right and for this one i don't require this so i'll just right click and remove done that is gone now i have first name and last name i know this is something which you may not like and you can of course fix this right and if you want to understand how to fix this let me know into the comment i'll make another video to help you understand how to fix this but i want to keep this video simple that's why i'm going to leave with it now the next thing i'm going to say close and apply as soon as i do this i'm back in my power bi visualization view right and just give it a couple of minutes and you're gonna get the actual transform data available over here you see now like you can see the data is available right over here now you can go ahead and do your further analysis i hope it was easy for you to understand just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to reply that and help you with the solution thanks